We're making orange chicken today. Orange chicken like you have at Chinese takeouts, but my orange chicken is so much better, so much more flavorful. It's not fried, it's healthier for you, and it is intensely delicious. And I mean intensely delicious. And it's really easy. I've prepped a lot of my veg, because that's the, the part that takes the longest, is cutting all the vegetables up. And you can use whatever vegetables you want. But I've started with two pretty large chicken breasts that I have actually let marinate for about 20 minutes in some coconut aminos. Coconut aminos, or you can use soy sauce, or you can use tamari. I like to use this. It's a little bit sweeter. It's gluten-free, and it is made from the blossom of the coconut flour. So it's, it's really a great, great ingredient. If you want to hunt it down, it's perfect to use. So I have my chicken all cut up in there, and I'm going to use three tablespoons of cornstarch, and this is gonna give the chicken a nice crispy coating without frying it, but it's also gonna help thicken my sauce when I put the sauce on. So all I need to do is just give this a little toss around, and I have some oil heating in my pan back there on my stove, and I'm gonna put this in the pan with all this cornstarch and chicken, and let this chicken just sit for like five minutes, and while that cooks back away on my stove, I can very quickly make up this really great radish and cucumber that's going to go with it, and also the sauce. Won't take very long at all. All right, so that's all coated, ready to go, back in my skillet. All right, while that's sizzling away, I have some cucumber and some radish that I've cut up here, and all that needs is a little bit of this rice vinegar. Uh, mirin, it's also called, just like a teaspoon or so. And then I'm also going to add just a drizzle of honey to kind of sweeten it up. Um, this actually is a sweeter vinegar. It's really, really good. But just a drizzle of honey to kind of sweeten it up. Not much at all. You don't need much. And then I'm going to give it a little toss, and I'll just let that set while I make the sauce for the chicken. I'm going to use my grater zester several times in this sauce. First for the skin of this pretty large orange. Then I'm going to cut this up. And just give it a squeeze. All of the juice goes in here. I don't want to waste any of it. So I have the orange juice in here and now I need to add my coconut aminos or tamari or soy about three tablespoons. And I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of that vinegar. Then I like to add just a smidge of sesame oil. I think it just gives it a great, great flavor. And speaking of grating, I keep my ginger in the freezer in a bag, and I'm going to grate zest it right from the freezer. It, that's the easiest way to do it. You don't have to peel it or anything. Just be a little forceful with it, and it comes off in a really nice powder, as you can see. But it's the easiest way to use fresh ginger. This is always, always, always in my freezer. Then as soon as I get done doing that, I'm going to do the same thing with two cloves of garlic. It's also the easiest way to do garlic and get nice fine mints. Now I want to sweeten this up with about a tablespoon or so of coconut sugar. You can also use honey, tamari, regular sugar, brown sugar. I just like the flavor of coconut sugar. It's really, really good. I'm going to bring all this over to my chicken. I've cut up some carrots and some snow peas. You can use broccoli. You can use anything you want. Okay, you can see that chicken got really gnarly and caramelized. That's kind of what I want. And we're going to add in my veg. There's my carrot. And then there's these beautiful schnooker snacks that I cut up. I like to see the little peas in them, so I kind of took the time to cut them into little strips. And then my sauce goes in. Give it one last little mix up here. That looks so good and it smells amazing. I can smell the orange, literally. And I love those bits of caramelized chicken. So I have a little bit of brown rice here. 
And I'm just gonna spoon some of this chicken and veg and all that wonderful orangey juice over this. And then you can kind of doctor it up however you want. So crushed peanuts. And then a little bit of that cucumber and radish pickle on the side. Quick pickle with the little mirin and honey. And then a little cilantro. I just like cilantro, so it's a must. And then I have a little garnish of orange, which I think is totally appropriate with orange chicken. Now I'm gonna dig in. Because this is really gonna be good. It's beautiful too. Colors are gorgeous. Oh man. This is so much better than takeout and better for you with all the fresh ingredients that I have in here. It's really, really good. You gotta give it a try, orange chicken.